Now just listen. I'm going to speak to you. I'm going to say things. Things that have been in my heart and my life for years. I'm not going to spare you. I'm going to tell you the truth and the truth and the truth. We've been married 10 years now. Oh, I know neither of us are very young. The last five have been nothing but misery for me. Misery, do you hear that? You sitting there, calm and collected, not caring one damn for me. It isn't you know it. Mother of my children. Satisfied with that? Never a word of kindness or sympathy. As for affection, I want something more. And I tell you, this girl has made life worth living. That's all. I come home at night, dog tired, all day in the city, sick of it. Stock exchange, office, and the mud, and the grime, and the worry. And there were you with a nod. Ah, Harvey, good evening. Scarcely looking up from your committee report, blue book, or damn pamphlet or other. I want my wife to care for me. I want her to smile and be glad when I come in. I want her to love me. You don't. By the Lord, I sneaked upstairs to have a peep at the children. Gone in, and they'd be asleep. I'd be hungry. Hungry for a word, for a look. And there in the schoolroom was this girl. I've played a little down, I know. She's fond of me. I couldn't help it. I was lonely. And that's all it was. Night after the night, I'd gone up there. You didn't know where I was, and you didn't care. Up in the study, you thought. A cold, chilly box, you call my study. <laughs> Glad to have me out of the way. But there I was with this girl. Something to look forward to on the cab ride coming home. Something to catch hold of when things went wrong in this dreary grind of money making. Her eyes lit up when they saw me. She'd ask me things. If I coughed, she fussed me. And she was pleased. In pretty ways. So pleased. Beyond words. If I brought her home something. 